Hi, I'm Noah with the Pepperell Cooker Company, and today I'm going to show you how to do one of the most unbelievable turkeys for Thanksgiving on your Pepperell Cooker. I've just let the coals outside, and it's going to take 20 minutes to get those ready, so let's go ahead and get the turkey ready. Um, today we have a 17 pound turkey. Uh, you can do all the way up to a 35 pound turkey. We've, we've done that. It took about seven hours. Um, some key things to, to remember, you don't have to add any more coal to the Pepperell once it's lit. So. Uh, it'll burn no problem, it burn, they burn very efficient and they'll burn for about eight hours. This turkey is going to take about, should take about four and a half hours to five hours uh, total. Uh, we'll start checking temperature after about four hours. I'm going to show you how to take this from A to Z. Uh, today all we're going to need is some olive oil, uh, the pit barrel cooker all-purpose rub, the uh, four hooks that come in your pit barrel, and the turkey. Uh, a couple things about the turkey. Uh, this turkey was store bought, just like most are going to be. Uh, they contain a giblet bag and they contain the neck. You want to make sure that you remove those things, obviously. Some people don't know about that, but most people do. So, as I said earlier, we're going to want to remove the, uh, the neck and we're going to want to remove the giblet bag. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put olive oil on it. Uh, we're going to want to get a good coat of olive oil over the entire turkey. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. The wings, the legs. Okay, we have a good coat of olive oil on the turkey. Now we're ready to season it up. Um, something to remember, so our pit barrel cooker all-purpose rub comes in a 4.7 ounce jar. You're gonna use about three quarters of this jar for this turkey. Average turkey, at least half to three quarters. So hopefully that gives you an idea of just how much season to put on. We'll go ahead and start seasoning it up. Now with the seasoning, I will put some of the seasoning inside the turkey. Just makes it a little bit better. Now we're ready to place the hooks in the turkey. Uh, this is one of the most important parts about this. Besides family coming over for Thanksgiving, the next most stressful thing is gonna be if your turkey falls off in the pit barrel cooker. If you follow my instruction, that will not happen. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is flip the turkey over. <clears throat> okay, we've got the turkey flipped over, breast side down, and we're gonna go ahead and put these hooks in. Um, as you can see, there's this wire rack here that holds the legs uh, back. Most turkeys that you're going to buy at the store come with this. Uh, there's a little space in between the legs that you're able to get these, these uh, hooks back in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to push it in and then we're going to come up. And we're going to, when we come up, we want to come up through, through some bone here. Uh, you'll have to kind of feel around. Sometimes it may take a couple times to get it in there. You want to make sure that you get the hooks in like this and set them in there like that, and then the same for the other side because the rods are going to hang this way on it. So we'll go ahead, put the hooks in the other side here. Okay, we've turned the turkey around, now we're ready to put the hooks in the other side. We're going to go ahead, and you want to feel around in here, and again, it may take a few times to get this right, you want to make sure that you do and you're going to kind of feel around for a space in between the bones. Go ahead and hook. Again, there's nothing graceful or nothing pretty about doing this, but uh, the reward is fantastic. And you want to just, like I said, make sure that you get the hooks in just right. So you have them here. They're good, solid, sturdy hooks, so they're not going to bend on you. And we're set. So this is how the turkey is going to hang in the pit barrel, just like this. Okay, we've got the hooks in place, and we're ready to put the turkey on the pit barrel. Okay, we're just about ready to put the turkey on the pit barrel. Uh, a couple things I'd recommend is some good uh, oven mitts or, or decent gloves to protect yourself from the heat. Uh, you'll need that, and you can do this by yourself, but you don't have to. If you have an extra person, an extra hand, it always helps. Okay, we're ready to hang the turkey on the pit barrel. The first thing you want to do is take one of the rods and put the rods in. Put one rod in first. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take the turkey just like this. You pick them up with two, two fingers. You can easily get it in there. First thing you want to do, if you're doing this by yourself, is put one of the hooks on the turkey. That You can then let go of this hand, reach underneath through here, hang this hook. Then you take the rod with the other hand, put it inside, go ahead and hang this hook next, 
then reach around. Sometimes this is a little bit of a stretch. And there you have it set. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on and we'll go ahead and just walk away. Um, something to keep in mind, we're going to come back in about four hours and we're going to start checking for temp. Okay, about four hours has gone by. We're ready to check the temperature on the turkey. Okay, we'll go ahead and check the temperature. This is just a digital thermometer. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and just poke it right in here and that's going to, well, right now we're right at about 170 on the inner thigh temperature. So we're actually going to go ahead and pull it off right now. That's why it's a good idea. Anything about a, about 16 pounds, um, 16 to 18 pounds, let's start checking it about four hours. Uh, if it's any lighter, I'd go three hours and you just kind of got to use common sense on that. So the best way to pull this turkey off with a hook grabber, go ahead and take this. You get this one side off here. Take it like this. And from there, you can go ahead and pull the one rod out. Holding this. And from here, you can just set that hook grabber to the side. Take it like this. Go ahead and take the turkey out just like that. Okay, we've left the turkey set for about 20 minutes, lightly covered with tin foil. Next, okay, we're ready to carve the turkey. First thing we're going to do is remove the hooks. Since we've let the turkey rest, these hooks have cooled off quite a bit, so we can go ahead and grab them with our bare hands. We'll go ahead and set these hooks off to the side. First thing I like to do is go ahead, I like to take the legs off and then the wings. Something neat about the pit barrel cooker is you're, when you traditionally cook a, a turkey, usually you have to sacrifice one or the other. Either the, the white meat gets overcooked and you can enjoy the dark meat or, the, uh, or vice versa. But with a pit barrel cooker, the dark meat is outstanding and the white meat is still tender and juicy and really, really good. Oftentimes you'll notice that you can just peel the, uh, the wing bone right off go ahead and pull that out and sometimes you can just you can just pull this leg right down and this looks delicious we'll go ahead and free up the uh, the legs here still has that little wire wire piece in there so we'll go ahead and, okay what I'll do this I'll go ahead and set this off to the side I'm gonna go ahead and, and take the turkey breast right off I'll cut these right right down the middle but off to the side. And then once I take them off, I'll, I'll thinly slice up the breasts and then lay it on the, uh, the serving platter. So I'll go ahead and square it up to me. Go ahead and put that in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to try to get as big a piece as possible. I'll pick it up kind of with my hands here just to show you what you're trying to achieve. Um, as you can see, it's still juicy and tender inside, and the uh, and the dark meat is, is is cooked perfectly. So we'll go ahead. We're going to do this to both sides of the turkey. Okay, I've shown you a great way to take the large pieces off of the turkey, and now we're ready to go ahead and cut them into individual pieces and set them on the serving platter. We'll start with the breast that we took off. Go ahead and just start. Okay, I went ahead and cut up the other turkey breast, and I pulled the dark meat off the bones. I left these wings, uh, the, the meat on these uh, on these wings intact, and put all the dark meat at this end of the uh, of the platter. And I'm going to go ahead and take this, the whole breast just like this. And we'll set it just like this. It's a great way for people to to pick the white meat and the dark meat. Once you have the white meat and the dark meat in the platter, you can go ahead and take these wings. You can go ahead and set them in here like this. If you like, you can set them anywhere. And that's the finished product. Okay, that wraps it up for how to do a Thanksgiving turkey on your pit barrel cooker. If you have any additional questions, you can write to us or contact us at pitbrellcooker.com. I hope your Thanksgiving is a good one and enjoy your turkey.